Hello, this is Well and Well Armed. We're looking at two 45 pistols, they're both black, and that's about where they separate. Uh, this I'd call a combat or a carry, and this I'd call a combat pistol. Uh, both are compact, or they claim to be compact. Uh, this is a 3.5 inch barrel, this is a 3.5 inch barrel. Much bigger gun, much heavier gun, longer gun. But uh, this holds uh, 12 rounds and this holds 14 rounds. So let's uh, look at the differences of the two uh, side by side. Um, the Jericho is a lot wider. Um, the grip at the top is smaller. At the bottom is much bigger. Uh, this grip is consistent all the way through. Uh, this is a lot more narrow and uh, very low profile. Uh, safety is uh, very audible. Nice safety. This safety is the same. Not a decocker. True safety. Um, this is a uh, double action, single action, not like other Jerichos. Um, so these have both been cleared. Clear me anyway. Nothing down the chamber. Nothing in the magazine. Got the mag out. You can see down below. Nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the magazine. Got the magazine out. Down below, nothing there. So we'll take a couple measurements. Um, just go with this one. Width of the slide is a 23.6. Width of the slide. 25.8 like I said this is 49.9 yep and this is 55.5 okay, this is a consistent we'll measure right below the safety Uh, 52.2 so width this is 33.3 uh, and this is 32.6 so weight wise big difference um, 39.5 ounces Twenty six point four ounces. There we go. Look at those magazines. So that's a fourteen round magazine, and that's a twelve round magazine. Uh, they're the same width, more or less. Uh, thirty four point five and thirty four point four. This is the real difference here. This is kind of a one and a half stack on the IWI. And that is 21.2 versus 23.8. So a couple of millimeters there. Um, and then it's taller, of course. You can also see how uh, this one is a gradual taper and this is more of an abrupt taper and then kind of flat at the top. Typical of more of the uh, 1911 double stack versus the CZ style. All right, let's take a look at those triggers. This trigger is 
This trigger is a typical 1911. It does have the grip safety. So when you pull this trigger, it has a grip on, but you pull it, it comes to the wall, and it fires. So that is just under three pounds. I'll release and show you the reset. Really nice. Now this is a double action, single action. The hammer is cocked, so we can look at it in single action. So right there is the wall, but that's not the wall. So we're gonna have some creep. See that creep really hard in there? All the way back, pins it all the way to the wall. Watch the reset. Springs out, really pushes your finger forward. And straight back, no creep. Um, so this is also a double action. Let me even try if I can squeeze it with this hand. Oh, try it with this hand. Uh, it's just straight back, a lot of pull, and this is just under 11 pounds. So, let's do some spring test. Uh, four pounds, nine ounce, point two. Uh, that's what it does consistently, so I won't bore you with a bunch of tests. The grip safety on. Uh, two pounds, 13 ounce. That's consistent with what it always does. All right. So, the interesting thing about these two pistols are this is almost two pounds and this is almost one third the weight or two thirds the weight. Um, this is what I'd call a carry. Uh, this I call a combat arms. Both are in 45. You can just see the mass of steel this is. This could easily be a 10 millimeter, a 40 or nine millimeter. It's just overbuilt. It's built like a tank. Uh, this is thinner, more refined. You have a double stack, holds 12 rounds. Both of them are in the neighborhood of being a Glock. This is probably like a Glock 19. This is probably like a Glock 19X. So, um, they're both fine pistols to have and shoot. And, uh, you know, I'm going to work on the trigger on this. I'm also going to work on the trigger on this. But they need a little bit of help. Uh, I'd say the overall feeling of this trigger is there's some tangible grit in there. The, the slide has a little grit to it. Um, this, it's very, um, I think it's still dirty and I need to clean it, deep cleaning. And the trigger, it's got a lot of issues. I'm going to see what kind of parts will work on it and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, anyway, have a great day. This is Well and Well Armed and be prepared.